You know who would be a good name for a show? Black people, white cats? How'd you know? Because anytime you involve black people and white cats, I just feel like it will create magic. Definitely. Hey, right on the window. Right hey, man, why is this dude so window. mad? Hey, Probably because he's outside. Down. It's mad hot out there, yo. Should we roll down our window? Yeah, but just a little bit. You don't want to waste the AC. Yeah, the AC Slater. <laughs> Some people say uh, AC Slater is a Scottie Pippen to Zach Morris is Michael Jordan, but I disagree. I don't think anybody says that. <laughs> What's good, bro? What's good? You guys were supposed to be moving my stuff hours ago. It's the hottest day of the year. Who works in this kind of heat? You do! Your contract says specifically you move under any conditions, including rain, snow, or extreme heat! Oh, dude, that's supposed to be extreme sleet. How'd you mess that up? All right, whatever. We'll go do it. But I'm gonna miss AZ Slater. Much like he was missed and saved by the Belden new class. They still have Mr. Belden, though. That's a good point. It's so hot. I'm sweating like Patrick Ewing right now. Huh. Oh, snap. It's Jake the Snake. You're a tow truck driver now? Sure am. The pay's good and I get to crush things. I'm, I'm glad for you, but why are you taking our van? It's parked illegally in a bike lane. Come on, move it. I'm a bicyclist. I'm bicycling. I'm towing your van to the pound. It's going to cost $150 to get it out. If you don't pick it up for noon tomorrow, I'm going to crush it. Why you got to be so cold, Jake the Snake? Look, brothers, I don't make the rules. But I'd be lying if I didn't say I wasn't going to enjoy crushing your van. Not because I don't like you guys, but honestly, it's a, uh, a sexual thing. So it sounds like Jake the Snake has this sexual fetish for crushing things. Yeah, that's what we think. But now we need $150 more to get our van back. What if I paid you $150 to stop talking about your financial problems? Well, if it isn't Natasha who lives upstairs from us. Yeah, what do we look like, Natasha from the fifth floor? We don't take charity from rich people. We only take it from poor people. Yeah, or middle class people. Well, my air conditioning is still broken in my apartment. So, what if I pay you to buy and install one for me? That way it's not charity. And you'll shut up. Yeah, we're cool with that. This is perfect, brothers. I know a dude that can hook us up with the best AC in Greenpoint. Whoop, there it is. Hey, how much you want for the AC? You don't want that. What about a DVD of a television hit, Black People, White Cats? Oh, man, someone stole our idea. Seriously, how much for the AC? I'm telling you, you don't want that. But why? This air conditioning unit was responsible for the Great Greenpoint Prison Riot of 1994. Yeah, I remember that. That was in 1994. It worked so well that the prison guards fell asleep oh. during their shift. This allowed the prisoners to break out and kill all the guards. Wake up, bitch! They say this air conditioning unit is cursed by Satan himself. <laughs> That's nonsense, man. Satan wouldn't do that. Yeah. Stop trying to use Satan to convince us to pay you more. We'll give you 45 bucks for it. $50, and I throw in this lighter. When you turn it over, the woman's claws mysteriously fall away. We'll, we'll take, take it. it. Later, Gerard. Later, Dad. A.C. Slater's dancing. Guys, you're the best. Good luck getting your van back tomorrow. Here's your money. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to enjoy my nice cold apartment, pour myself a glass of Pinot, and watch season four of Black People, White Cats. Black people and white cats. Baby girls by How did they stretch this premise out to four seasons? What is the premise? I don't know. <laughs> Let's celebrate a job well done. Yeah, this is the perfect opportunity to christen our new lighter. Now let's turn it over. Oh, no. The chick has a penis. We're not using this anymore. Just throw that in the garbage. No, I'm not going to throw it. I'm going to return it for my money. Oh, either way, I don't want to get high anymore. Yeah, let's just go to bed. Got to get to the pound by noon. Good night, Kenny. Good night, Keith. Hey, 
Hey, good morning, Natasha. How you doing? Don't good morning me. The entire building is frozen because of that AC you installed. <laughs> hmm. I guess his AC was haunted by Satan. If you two don't get to the furnace in the basement and turn it on, we're all gonna die! If we die, we'll never get our van back. Oh, man, it's, it's cold, man. Yeah, it's freezing. It's dude. freezing, I should have grabbed a jacket. Or should we, did we just hug and walk? Yeah. Oh, hey, Mrs. Henderson, this is crazy, right? Oh, it sure is, boys. Do you know how to get to the furnace? Oh, of course I do. You wanna go back the other way? Let's go back the other way. Oh, look, it's a nice bear. You mean a polar bear? Uh, it's a nice bear. <laughs> it's an ice cold bear. Oh, sick, let's pet him. <laughs> man, man, ice bears are whack. Let's go back the other way. Oh, man, I totally forgot about that hole. Me too. What are we gonna do? We're jumping. Okay, let's jump. Look. Cool. Ah! You know what, Kenny? We had a really good run as brothers. It was a good run. Oh, well, I guess that's it. Oh, man, I was ready to die. Whoa. I'm Jumanji. Oh, snap. Yo, Keith, I told you Jumanji was going to save us one day. Yes, Kenny, you did. You want some mushrooms? Nah, man, we're cool. Can you just help us find the furnace? Don't worry, I got this. Hey, Jumanji, where did you come from? I'm from a magical land where it's nothing but white sand and, and beautiful blind girls with tans. Oh, really? Nah, I'm from Detroit. You want some mushrooms? I was in my hotel room when the shrooms kicked in, and I was watching Lord of the Rings. Damn, Jumanji really likes mushrooms. I was in the room by myself, so I freaked out, and I just ran out that bitch. Yo, look out! So, next thing I know, I thought I'm seeing Japanese writing in the sky. Ah! Whoa! I'm sitting on type of and then I run to the bus, and my other homie that took the shrooms, he's staring at his hand. Then when I came outside, you know, downtown Cleveland is not that lit up. Oh, snap. Jumanji did it. We're here. Gentlemen, here it is. La Fernache. <laughs> La Fernache just sounds like a Mexican orgy or something, man. Ah! Giant white cats! Oh, snap. What are we gonna do? Keith, you know what we gotta do. I know. We gotta give up. Absolutely. Nah, 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 nah. I got a better plan. I distract the tigers by feeding them mushrooms. <laughs> what? And doing a little bit of rapping. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Wait! You want some mushrooms? Well, you keep pushing them on us. So yeah, I guess we'll take them. <laughs> Sounds like he has it under control. Let's go inside. Yo, I think the mushrooms are kicking in. Go, 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 go. Lucas Brothers, let's turn the furnace on. <laughs> We need something to light the furnace. Oh, I got this lighter. No, we cannot use that lighter. The streets won't be kind to us for using the lighter with a chick with a penis. <laughs> Come on, boys. You gotta use the lighter. No, nah, we can't do it, Jake. Not for you, not for anybody. If you don't, you'll never get that moving van. <laughs> Jake's pretty persuasive. We gotta do it for the van. All right, I'll do it for the van. Streets, I'm sorry. Yo, we need more fuel for the fire. Don't worry. I will sacrifice my body to save the Lucas brothers. Thanks, Jumanji. You're a true warrior. I told you Jumanji was gonna save us twice in one day. Yes, you did, Kenny. Yes, you did. I see you soon, Lucas brothers. Jumanji, you forgot your mushrooms. I'm so high right now, man. Jake, we got the money for the van. Oh, so close. But fair is fair, and my word is bond. Let her down, boys. Cool. 
Bye, Satan. Sorry we didn't get to work things out. Black <laughs> <laughs> people and white cats. Oh, snap. <laughs>